This tutorial is just for absolute beginners who would like to learn Android app development through Android Studio IDE using Java language. Throughout the tutorial we will show you how to set up the Android Studio IDE and to write your first ever Android app which is Hello World using Android Studio and Java language. Also we will show you how to set up an Android virtual device to test your apps without using a physical Android device. Although there are plenty of IDS which you can use to develop Android applications, Android Studio is the easiest IDE for a beginner to write their Android app using Java language or Kotlin. So we thought of conducting all of our Android tutorial sessions to continue in Android Studio IDE for the sake of simplicity. First of all you need to download the Android Studio setup and install it on your computer. To download the setup you can just search download Android Studio in your web browser and then you can click this link from the Android developer. It will direct you to the download page and you can click the download button to download the setup matching according to your current computer. If you want to download the setup for another computer which has a different platform like Linux, Mac, etc. you can click the download options button. We are not going to show you the installation process as it may waste our time to learn more important things. But anyone can easily install the software just like you install other softwares available in the market. After the installation is complete, you can open the Android Studio IDE to write our first Android app Hello World. When you first open the Android Studio you will be presented with a welcome screen offering you a number of choices to get you started. Here you have to select start a new Android Studio project unless you don't have to import any app project created previously from Eclipse or any other IDE. Now you can select the project template according to the device that you have targeted to create your app. Here I am going to select the phone and tablet and there I am going to select an empty activity to start our Hello World program. After selecting the template and creating the empty activity you have to specify a name for your app. We will change the name to my first app and you can write your own name as you wish. Package name is a unique identifier that will be created for your application which will be later identified if you upload this app to the Play Store. So please remember to give a unique package name or let the Android Studio create a unique package name for you. Now you can select the project save location and the language that you are writing the code using the Android Studio, in our tutorial lesson series we'll be using Java language to create Android apps. Next important thing to select here is the minimum SDK version that you have planned to run on Android devices. Selecting a lower Android SDK version will allow you to run your app on older Android devices. By selecting the minimum SDK version to the lowest possible you can cover approximately a huge percentage of devices available in the world and this percentage will be calculated by the Android Studio for you. But you need to remember, setting the minimum SDK to the lowest SDK version will reduce the capabilities of the app that you are trying to create as SDK versions are always updating new features that will not run on older devices anymore, so it is always wise to refer SDK version detailed documents before you write your Android code. After finishing the initial setup for your project, Android Studio will sync the project with Gradle and run it to initialize the project structure and set up all the required dependencies and everything else required for your project. Gradle is an advanced build toolkit and Android Studio uses a Gradle wrapper to fully integrate the Android plugin for Gradle. The Android plugin for Gradle will also run independent of Android Studio which means that you can build your Android apps without the support of Android Studio and you can compile it using the command line in your computer. Next most important thing to remember before you build an Android app is to select the target SDK version that you are building your Android app. Selecting the most recent, the latest Android SDK version will allow you to create better apps that will be supported by any Android devices available currently in the world and it also will help you to upload your Android app to the App Store without much trouble. You can manage all the SDK versions available to the Android Studio using the SDK Manager given in the Tools menu. There you can select the SDK version that you need to download and compile your code on it. After syncing the Android plugin with Gradle, Android Studio will create the main activity Java file and the layout file for the main activity. 
Main activity, Java file is the main place where you are writing Java code in your Android application and activity underscore main.xml file will give you control to create your own UI layout for the main activity that you are running in your Android app. Since this is just a hello world program we don't have to write any Java codes to display text hello world in your application but the Android Studio has done the required initial coding to run the activity and bind the main activity layout to the application you have created. But if you want to change the text displayed in your first time application you can do it by changing the text in the text view of the main activity layout, activity underscore main dot xml. More about the activities and the layout files will be covered in our future tutorials. Now our Hello World application is ready to compile, but you will need a physical Android device or a virtual Android device to run the app and test the output. Here we will show you how to add a virtual Android device to the Android Studio very easily. In the Tools menu of the Android Studio you can select the AVD Manager to set up your virtual Android device. Next you can select Create Virtual Device, and from the next pop-up window you can select the Category as Phone and then you can select any name of a phone given in the list already included in AVD Manager. For example we will select Nexus 6 as our AVD in the next window we have to select the system image. We will be selecting one of the most recent system images Android Q system image from the recommended list for our AVD more configurations of the Android virtual device that you have created can be changed from the verify configuration window. After setting all the configurations you can click finish to create your Android virtual device attached to the Android Studio IDE. The Android Studio will show all the connected physical devices and the virtual devices currently available to run the code and test your application. You can select any of them by clicking the device selection menu next to the green triangle button in the Android Studio Tools menu. After selecting the device, whether it is a physical or a virtual device you can click the run button, the green triangle button, to compile your Android code and install your application in the device that you have selected. If you have selected the Android virtual device, once the compilation of the code has been done by the Android Studio it will automatically start the Android virtual device and will install the compiled APK to it. And that's all. You have successfully created your first ever Android app using Android Studio and the language Java and tested it out using an Android virtual device. We will upload another tutorial to show you how to connect your physical Android device to test out your Android applications in future. Please like share and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks.